Welcome to Sliders 2.0, compatible with PS5, PS4, Xbox, and PC. These new sliders improve the pace, the shot speed, passing, CPU marking, and most importantly, makes the game more fun. But before we continue, please take a moment to help the channel grow by subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications so you don't miss out on future content. You don't want to miss out on career mode that's about to drop. Uh, it's about damn time. Okay, general settings. So the half length, you want to go with five to six minutes. This is more of your preference. That's just what I suggest, but you can set it up however you want. The difficulty level, this works with all the levels. It's pro, world class, legendary, and my favorite, ultimate. So competitor mode, I have this on off. And player based difficulty, I also have this on off. Enabling these two will make it more difficult. I suggest if you're gonna do so, first start with enabling the player-based difficulty and then also en enabling competitor mode. Attributes, I have that on default. The game speed, super duper important with these sliders. You want to set that up to slow pace. The ball is your preference. I just have it on default. Quick substitutes, I have on on. It's your preference. All right, let's get into the main course, the user sliders. The sprint speed is 27. Acceleration 49, shot error 65, pass error 60, shot speed 50, pass speed 34, injury frequency 65. If you're using Barca, you might want to increase that. Injury severity, that's 32. Goalkeeper ability, you want to set that up to 65. Positioning marking for the user, 60. Positioning run frequency, that's set to 35. Positioning line height, that's 41. Positioning line length, that's 36. Positioning line width, that's 60. Positioning pullback position, 50. Power bar, I like to set this up at 70 to 75. First touch control error, 75. All right, moving on to the CPU sliders. Okay, so the sprint speed, that's set up to 30. This is done on purpose. These new sliders should be more challenging, but if it's not challenging enough, just increment this feature, the sprint speed. Don't edit anything else, start with that. If it's too easy for you, go to 31, 32, 33, and so on. Acceleration, 50. It differs from the user sliders, it's on purpose. Shot error is 65. Pass error is 65. Shot speed, 50. Speed 34, injury frequency 65, injury severity 32, goalkeeper ability that's 65, positioning marking. Very importantly, this is now set to 80. If you're scoring too many goals, this should help you out. Positioning run frequency set to 35, positioning line height 55, positioning line length 38, positioning line width 50, positioning fullback that's 50 and the first touch control error 75. Okay, real quick before you go. Wait, there's more. Two things, this part of the video will be timestamped so you can come back and get all the info you need that's in the video description. And number two, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. But the fun does not end here. If you are interested in the camera used throughout this video, please click on the video on the lower left. When you're done with that, don't forget to check out the video on the lower right, because if you want to get the full experience of making the game as realistic as possible, it's my personal settings, it's my advanced settings. Please feel free to stop by in the comment section. You guys take care, have a good one.